Hey guys, I'm back with another video. So let's hop into it. This is going to be what's going on with the Divine Masculine and the Karmic. So Divine Masculine Karmic Tale. All right, let's jump into it. If you are new to the channel, welcome. I'm the Empress. If you are returning, welcome back. Happy to have y'all back. All right, so let's go ahead and get this message. Let's see what's going on with the Divine Masculine and his karmic. All right, so, yeah, let's see what's going on. Let's get a message for Divine Masculine and karmic. What's going on with Divine Masculine and the karmic? All right, we're going to stop right here. Okay, I'm getting like a bunch of people trying to, I'm hearing somebody say a bunch of people trying to stop, stop me from doing it. Okay, so I don't know what's going on. Let's see. The Eight of Cups. The Hermit. The Knight of Pentacles, Two of Swords, Two of Cups, and the Ace of Wands. Yeah, I feel like someone wants, is ready to, is contemplating on walking away from this connection. Somebody's super duper indecisive. I feel like this is the masculine energy. I feel like this masculine is indecisive on whether or not he wants to leave this connection. I feel like this is his opportunity too with this Ace of Pentacles here. I'm hearing this is the perfect time for me to leave. This karmic over here is the Will of Fortune energy. So she could be, you know, asking for another chance or... Um, doing whatever she can so things can go in her favor. But I feel like with that three of swords as the outcome, there could be a breakup, a split. All right, so why is this Knight of Pentacles here? I'm getting like this masculine is dragging his feet. He's taking his time to leave. He's not really in a rush to walk away from this connection. This could be a Leo that... This masculine is dealing with, or the masculine could be a Leo. Um, but I don't see him like rushing. He's really taking his time. I feel like he's seen too much of I feel like he's seen too much. He's he's had went through an awakening, okay? I think he's seen everything that he feels like he needs to see. Maybe he she showed him too much. I'm seeing that. Like, I'm getting, like, saw, saw too much. Ten of Wands. Yeah, the Emperor. This is masculine. He feels like maybe she has too much control over the relationship. Yeah, see, when he asks for something, it's like he feels like he can't even ask her for nothing right now. So she has too much control like he did he had i feel like he had majority of the control before but i feel like every time he's been asking her for things or come to her about something um maybe she's coming off as you know not wanting to do as much as she did okay you know in the beginning people just do the most to get you and then when they get you they start getting comfortable so this masculine is contemplating on walking away. I feel like this masculine wants to see what else is out there. Why is the Eight of Cups here? Yeah, this masculine is bored of this connection, tired of this. this he's feeling discontent, bored. Um, he's not all the way there. I guess he's just waiting for it to, to fall all the way apart before he take you know take off um 
because he don't want to make it seem like he don't want to make it seem like he's the the bad guy, the bad person in the situation. So I'm getting like he's kind of like just waiting for it to just fall apart. But he is wanting to see what else is out there. He's bored of this connection. Why is the four of cups here? Two of wands. This masculine does not want to be there. Two of wands. It's like he does not want to be there. I feel like there's some distance between them. It could be a Virgo or a Libra involved. I'm here and need some space. Someone can find out that some that this masculine is married. Okay, now the two of swords is here. So this masculine is is at a feel like he's at a crossroad because um, he knows that he has some type of decision. He's feeling pressured to make some type of decision. Yeah, right now he's not sure. He's kind of like trying to listen to his intuition. If his intuition tells him to leave, he'll leave at any given time. Okay. I feel like he doesn't want everybody to talk about him, you know, to bring up, to bring, to throw things in the space, okay? So he doesn't know how to to actually uh, walk away without getting looked at crazy. But I feel like this masculine also doesn't know um, if, this is just like a attention thing to get attention. I feel like this this karma is arguing with his masculine a lot. He don't know if it's for attention or what. Why is the two of cups here in the past energy? I feel like I feel like this masculine really did not want to fully be in this connection because he was trying to stop it with the nine of wands. He just wanted to see what it was gonna be like. He just wanted to see what this connection was gonna be like. I feel like this masculine has lost some friends along the way dealing with this karmic, dealing with this karmic situation. I feel like he also feels like he doesn't fit in with his friends anymore dealing with this karmic. There's something that he's still holding on to from the past as well. Yeah, see, masculine is over here trying to move on from something from his past, but I feel like this karma keeps bringing it up. Keeps bringing it up. So right now, I see him, like, trying to, to move past the past. He's trying to get over something from his past. But sh this karmic is making him feel like he's betraying her in some way, shape, or form. Because we got the Ten of Swords and the Moon. Okay, so this karmic is trying to make him feel like if he was to go back to dealing with someone from his past, then he would betray her. Okay, that's a sense of betrayal. I'm hearing that's funny how you ended that relationship and jumped straight into another one. I'm hearing that.
So this karmic is over here watching this queen of cups. Could be, you could be a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Or she just got her eyes. She's watching. It looks like a water sign. Definitely Pisces with the hangman and the queen of cups right here. But she is keeping an eye on somebody, whoever he's, she feels is a threat to her. Um, who masculine could be dealing with from his past. She feels like, oh, King of Cups, Queen of Cups. So she feels like you and masculine still can have feelings for each other or whoever masculine is thinking about from his past, who she keeps bringing up. She feels like y'all still have feelings for each other. And he feels like it's true. He feels like, yeah, it's true. It's true. It's true. I'm hearing him trying over and over and over again um, to, to tell her the truth. But he feels like she just don't get it. It's like, what you don't get? I'm not going to, you can't be mad at the truth. Um, so I feel like this masculine has already told her how he felt about this person from the past. And she just keeps bringing it up. feel like masculine feels like he has to apologize to her in order for this relationship to get back on good terms okay so i feel like he's getting tired he's getting tired of having to apologize he's getting tired of begging for this relationship he's getting tired of begging to be in this relationship because it's giving him some type of stability here but he's tired of begging to be in it he don't think that that's how it should be he don't feel like he should have to wait to say what's on his mind okay he want a female that he could talk to about good times and bad times. And when the truth get out, it's like all of a sudden things just go overboard. Okay? He don't want to argue about it. Especially in front of the kids. And I feel like she could have kids and I feel like they argue a lot in front of the children. Oh, that is a mess. Okay. So let's see. Let's go to the Kipper deck. <clears throat> How does this masculine feel about this climate? Yeah, I told you. Children are involved. I feel like they could be um, arguing in front of children. I'm seeing that. Um, and I feel like it's getting nowhere. This masculine feel like it's not getting anywhere. We got journey and despair. It's like it's not getting anywhere. Not getting anywhere. He could feel like she's childish or childlike. She could be younger. Younger than him. How does this kind of feel about like the Yeah, see, she's concerned. And she's like, thought, I thought we was official, official. I thought this, what we had going on was official, official. I thought I had a real man. You know what I'm saying? Like, it just seemed like you distant, like you changing. She feels like masculine is changing up on her. Um, and what she thought he was, she's concerned about it now. Because she's realizing that he's not who she thought that he was. Hmm. Mm -hmm. That is a mess. Let's see. So, what is what else is going on with this karmic and a masculine? Heart with the key stabbed in the back and bolt. And separation. I told you, I feel like they're getting ready to separate. Um, this masculine is getting tired of begging for this connection, like having to always be the one to apologize, always feeling like he in the wrong. And then we got X. So yeah, and love. So I feel like this this um this connection is on shaky ground. They're getting ready to go through a separation or a breakup, or they're gonna be giving each other some type of silent treatment. 
I feel like they were both welcoming to each other when this connection began, but they both could feel stabbed in the back. But definitely, for sure, for sure, this karma feels stabbed in the back. There is a separation here. Like, it's unsure of where this connection is going or where it's going to lead to. But we'll vote right here. This is somebody moving on. You received what you needed to get. Um, you're moving on, and there could be some closure. Okay, so I'm getting that it was it was fun. I'm getting it was fun while it lasted. Because if you look at this, it's like in the beginning, it was all good. They both was welcoming to each other. But somewhere along the line, some lines got crossed. Okay, then there's a separation period. Then there's a moving on period. Let bygones be bygones. But I don't feel like this connection is, it is a karmic connection. So it is supposed to be some type of lessons that's supposed to be learned from this. Let me see what else I can get. How does masculine feel about this karmic? Show me how this masculine feel about this karmic. This, this, um, oh, see, yeah, we got getting to know each other in the reverse, and none of my cards are reversed. So I feel like this is saying that they don't know each other. Like, he doesn't know this karmic, or this karmic doesn't know him like she thinks she does. I feel like this masculine is, you know, very, very concerned about his finances right now. And that's why I feel like a separation could definitely be on the horizon. I feel like he, he, we got past our relationship. This is the problem. That's confirmation. This is the problem. He's thinking about somebody from his past um, that he's still open to. He's still open to a connection from his past. So this is why their connection is suffering right now. Because this karmic don't really know him like she thinks she do. How does this karmic feel about masculine? Playfulness. And engagement and codependency. So she feel like she want this connection to go to the next level, but he playing. But he codependent on her. In so much shape or form. So she feel like she's taking care of him. And he plays too much. But he looking like, look, I'm still dealing, still dealing with something from my past. That I haven't completely closed that chapter to. Yep, see, he still hasn't hit. Didn't I tell you? Release your ex. Release your ex. It's something that he's still holding on to that he wants to heal from his past. He hasn't completely healed from something from his past. That's why he's bringing this energy into this connection. Okay? This connection isn't going to evolve because it's not meant to. It's, it's supposed to be a lesson that's learned out of this connection. But he's, he is very codependent on her. She knows that he is codependent on her. Like, she's his mother or something. Like, she's mothering him. Um, and she feels like he's playing. She wants things to go to the next level. But he's still holding on to his past. So, I mean, I see this coming in in the future. Separation and moving on. I see that coming in the future. I think I said past. I don't know. But that's the message that I got, guys. Y'all let me know what's going on in the comment section below. I'm going to chat with y'all later.